Have you ever been told that you need to paraphrase your sources for a research paper or an essay? Are you not clear what that means? Are you not sure how to do it well? Let us help you solve these problems. In this video, we'll give you five valuable strategies on how to avoid plagiarism and how to paraphrase information from your sources. So, how to paraphrase? The goal is to rephrase the information so that it appears in your words, not those of the author. What is important to remember when you paraphrase a sentence? Can you show me an example? Here it goes. A good paraphrase combines a number of strategies. Present the key information. In this example, the key information from the original sentence is that social media use among teenagers is on the rise and that over 90% of teenagers use social media daily. The paraphrased sentence presents this information in a slightly different way while still maintaining the same meaning. By paraphrasing in this way, you can avoid directly copying the original text while still conveying the important information. Make significant changes in wording and structure. In our example, you can see that we used synonyms of the words in the original sentence. We've also changed the word class and changed the order of information as well. Focus on ideas, not words. If you simply change a few words in your text without changing the overall meaning, you are not truly paraphrasing. When you focus on words instead of ideas, you may inadvertently reproduce the original text too closely, resulting in a paraphrase that is too similar to the original. This can be problematic, as it can be considered plagiarism. Focusing on ideas allows you to capture the essence of the original text and convey it in your own words. This not only helps to avoid plagiarism, but it also demonstrates your understanding of the content and your ability to communicate this effectively. Include citation. It is important to include a citation to give credit to the original source of the information and to avoid plagiarism. When you paraphrase, you are using someone else's ideas and information and putting it into your own words. While the words may be different, the underlying ideas and concepts are still someone else's intellectual property. Therefore, if you do not acknowledge the source of the information, you are effectively claiming it as your own, which can be considered plagiarism. Including a citation with your paraphrase allows readers to see where the information came from and to verify the accuracy of your interpretation. It also shows that you have done your research and that you are providing evidence to support your argument or point of view. Keep the same meaning. Paraphrasing is not simply replacing words with synonyms or rewording sentences without considering the original intended message. Paraphrasing allows you to put the original text into your own words, but it should still reflect the same ideas, concepts and information as the original. If you change the meaning when paraphrasing, you could misrepresent the message or even convey false information. This can be particularly problematic in academic or professional contexts where accuracy and clarity are essential. What is your top tip? One top tip for paraphrasing is to read the original text several times and ensure that you understand the meaning before attempting to restate it in your own words. This can help you to identify the key ideas and concepts and make it easier to convey them in a new way. It can be helpful to take notes or make an outline of the main points you want to cover to keep your paraphrasing focused and organized. Finally, after you've written your paraphrase, 
Compare it to the original text to make sure that you have accurately represented the source and avoided plagiarism. If you're not sure, use a plagiarism checker tool to help you identify any potential issues. So is there anything else to remember? Final notes. Remember, you do not need to paraphrase technical or specialized terms, for example, capitalism, foreign policy, diplomatic relations, etc. You must ensure that the basic meaning or main point in your paraphrase remains the same as in the original. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. See you soon.